Right. Um, this is um, a, 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 a follow-on from... I've got some dodgy paper there, but it's going to have to do. Uh, from... Uh, I've got a watermark on it, and I've made it worse. Um, it's a follow-on from uh, something that... When I did that thing yesterday, you know, the uh, the bearded guy, another bearded guy, and uh, um, someone said, oh, it's talent. Oh, no, I made a comment of that greatness. Because one thing about... You know, every if if you think that every, you see it all the time, every, or every the next mark is going to fail, the next mark isn't that kind of thing. If you think the next mark in the next few minutes or seconds may transform this to something great, then you're always going to be you know sort of chasing that greatness or being being on the positive side of an outcome because you 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 convince yourself or you're telling yourself that the next mark will determine you know how, how great this is going to be not whether it's a fail or not someone should put on it that the, the next in the next few minutes there's this the feeling of despair so you know, there's a negative attitude straight away you're never going to do anything with that kind of attitude eh? so the talent thing was um the um as i said it's i'm offended when people say talent because um all the all the determination, the resilience, the relentlessness of all this, of just trying to express my creativity, that's just swept away because I'm talented. You know, the hours and hours, I know admittedly it's never been a chore, but the hours and hours of that I put into this is all swept away by, oh, you're talented. So I'm always offended when people say, oh, it's because you're talented. And I always think it's, a, it's an excuse because they can't do it because they're not talented. You know, that's, that's oh, this means this means something else, basically, doesn't it? You know? <laughs> so, but um, at new charcoal, uh, a new batch, fresh batch of hazel charcoal. Um, been a good burn this time. 14 sticks this time, you can see, of charcoal. That's actually worked. It's been weeks since I've had a decent burn. I don't know why. Don't ask me what's, what the difference is, um, other than my wife was constantly turning the charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that was it um but uh, yeah it's 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 good it's uh um standard car the standard cartridge even though it's got this mark on it it really matter uh standard cartridge uh, i spoke to somebody about the surface um it's hard to describe what the surface is it, there's a slight bite on it nothing more and i always think of it as the you know that cheap cartridge you get in oh that cartridge you get in cheap sketchbooks um it's got a weight to it so it's about one one i think it's 130 something oh maybe maybe 130 i don't know um it's over 100 grams anyway so and um but other than that it's, it's just nothing nothing that's um uh special i i think the you know the the, the bottom line is that there is a combination of the charcoal and the paper thing going on um and i think you've always got to sort of um uh experiment a little you know with what's available to you i don't think it's a case of um what i say you get and it'll work because it, it probably won't because you may, may not get the same stuff or or you know there's all kinds of other factors um so yeah so that's that's it i'm 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 kind of chuffed that i've got a a decent burn um after the last few weeks um because i've been missing the you know the charcoal having to resort to use um uh, some windsor newton stuff um and its combination with this paper is it was it was not good um i didn't get this you know this sort of um mark making with no effort thing i didn't get any of that because i, I like to do that i mean you can meander as i say in the other videos across something and um um we, you have to uh, you have to apply a bit more effort with the, uh let's say the winds and newton stuff uh, and it makes marks that too many marks i don't mind the extra marks but it makes a few too many marks so um if i can just get the sort of the the, the uh the looseness the the um the finer marks to be more um, discreet 
as I, you know, as I'm looking and, uh, around and exploring, um, then it's better for me. It just gives it, a, a, you know, a bit more depth, a bit more dimension, and and a bit more, uh, um, um, flexibility. You know, sort of um, not as uh, as as determined. I don't have to. I don't have to be as as uh, specific as you know. Um, as I would have to be with the others, you know, I can't, I can actually be a bit more vague about things, uh, and not really make much of an impact. Um, but as, as going back to the talent thing, uh, I put this thing on about, you know, you can, you can claim it, blame it, or dismiss it, which is basically what I think I do. I, I kind of dismiss that as a, as a factor in what I do. I, I don't, I don't think that anybody in this world. I mean, obviously, if um, if you're a long jumper or a you know a long distance runner, um, there are genetics involved. Um, I, I don't really think that. I think the only genetic sort of feature, if anything, is a you know a determination and a you know resilience and, and that relentlessness, uh, regardless. And a, and a single mindedness. I don't think that. Um, I think one of the the key things about being an artist, you have to be kind of single minded in your um, approach uh, and and a willingness to accept your own thoughts uh, as you know as viable rather than dismiss them as some oh it doesn't fit with the norm or what you, why are you thinking like that everybody else thinks like this so I think you've got to have that um, single minded determination thing going on um, uh, and whether or not that's a, a, a genetic thing I have no idea um, it, it might be it might be there are some people who have um, immense resilience and immense um, um, determination but um, I don't know I mean I would think that life is probably something that determines that you know you become more determined based on um, some kind of um, event should we say or 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 it may be parenting you know? <laughs> maybe maybe the result of parenting of uh, either good or bad I don't I don't know but um, but I don't know. I think it's this this thing about oh, it's because they're talented and and I'm not that that they can do that. I always think that's a little bit of a. I mean, that to me is not being fair on yourself. You know, if that's if that's the conclusion you come to, because you're not giving you're not giving yourself any credit. You know? So so um, surely surely you're gonna you're not gonna you know you're the last person that you want to discredit. The last person you want to disrespect is yourself. <laughs> um, but uh, the, well, just going back to the charcoal again, one of the things about this, when you're hunting for charcoal, if I've told my mate this morning, Dave, um, uh, if you're looking for charcoal, the one thing you need is this ability to make marks with no effort. Most charcoal will do it, but it will depend on the relationship between the charcoal and the uh, paper. Uh, because if you've got coarse paper, too coarse paper, um, any charcoal will make a mark because you're just drawing on sandpaper. It's a bit like that. What is, is it pastel mat? I have no idea. I, I, I think I've seen it and it looks a bit like sandpaper to me. Um, so, but any charcoal will do it. What you want is uh, to be able to do it on a surface like this where it's not creating, you know, some of the rougher surfaces. And I've had to go on some rough surfaces. And, um, and it, as you're doing it, it tends to, you can see like snow falling down. With the and everybody says, "Oh, charcoal is really messy." It is when you're drawing on sandpaper. It is, um, but if you if you're looking for some uh, for charcoal rather, then um, I would say um, look for something that that will um, make marks with no effort on the paper that you you're, you're working with. Right? Will it will change? There is a paper that I used which has no. Um, surface whatsoever and it's like a, a kid is i think i showed you it was it's like a, a children's um uh sketchbook thing cheap really cheap you can see through the paper it's like cheap but it has a flow about it and and one of the things about and you'll see it you can see it in this um that one of the things that that is i like about it is this the the marks with no you know effort thing is the flow and so, so if if anything gets in the flow that is um, uh, charcoal that's inconsistent, charcoal that needs 
pressure, anything that gets in the flow of that, um, it will it, it interferes with your flow, your uh, your real purpose, which is to capture the you know the the likeness the, and the and the life force. So so you've got to remove anything that gets in the way, um, otherwise you're not giving yourself a fair chance. But um, so it's things like that that uh, I think are. Uh, the determination of, of what I do, not not some special talent or some God given thing, because I'm not really one for believing in, you know, it's a, it's a gift and all that sort of thing. Um, I, I just think again, it's like talent. It's it, using the word talent to say it's a gift is a, an insult to me. Um, but that, as I said, it, it's just it's just me. I, I think that that because of the amount of of um, effort and um, time wasted in terms of you know succumbing to the fact that that I wasn't it wasn't as good as anybody else's and and um I couldn't do it quick enough and nobody wanted to buy it and all that so it's coming to you know coming from that point of view I'm and I'm coming back to doing it kind of full time I'm uh, I'm determined to for it to be my you know attributed to me not not to some other force because it'd be this it's the same force that stopped me doing it you know what I mean? So I'm not I'm not keen on the idea of it being a a, a, a gift from someone else, because uh, I, I always think that 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 sort of leads to a different way of thinking in the gratitude thing and what have you. So I'm I'm uh, I'm much more inclined to say um, it's a, to do with my ability to learn, my aptitude, my my resilience, and you know, just the, the normal sort of things that all of us all of us can do with the right kind of um, mindset. And that and that again goes back to the mindset thing which I talk about all the time. So I suppose that's why I do talk about the mindset thing, because I don't want to kind of um, I suppose think that it's you know the result of someone else or the result of something else. Um, because as far as I'm concerned, it's me doing this. It's me doing this for the hours and hours that I do it. Um, it's me. There's no one else. There's nobody else that's that's doing this. It's me. Uh, and I want I want to believe that it's down to that and not down to something else. Um, but as I said, it's a funny thing. So the, the word talent is a it's a strange word. It's used in so many ways. Um, um, and I'm not and I'm not you know, whether it's a, to do with physical activity, people can be talented at that, you know, not just at something like this. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I only know what my response to it is, and that is I don't believe in it, you know. Um, but there are many people that do. And I, uh, which is fair enough. I'm not saying that they shouldn't. I'm just saying I don't. Um, and that's how. It, that's kind of how it should be anyway. You know, but I do, I do. When people come to me and they want to learn to make portraits or, or to draw full stop, I, I do try and, and stress the fact that it, you know you've got to get that idea that it's a it's a special thing that you have to be given in order to do it properly. I get that out of the head. But otherwise, you can't. I can't teach anybody if if they're in that in that frame of mind because it's always going to be an excuse. It's always going to be the reason why they failed, um, not the fact that they didn't. Um, connect you know their their uh, faculties because that's the thing i mean when you when you're doing it um you have to connect all your faculties your observational fac faculties your your physical and and um um, um motor faculties you know, all those things have to be um aligned if you like and they're only it's only a it's a focus thing it's not a it's not a, it's not a special skill that, um it might well be difficult to do initially because a lot of people aren't used to focusing their 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 mind and their you know their their body in, in such a way that it, it creates um, a an outcome. Um, and the other thing then is is that this thing of the, the real th thing is the is the mindset thing. It's not a can do thing. It's a case of um, acceptance. It's a case of the um, the process you're going through will result in something um and you've got to accept what that result is um it's not a case of it's not good enough or it's not like someone else's or or whatever or it didn't meet certain criteria it's it's about this um 
being alive and present to the you know to the outcome of what whatever you've just done um and being honest about it as well because you've got to be um objective about your your efforts you've got to be um in in a kind of um rational way not in a subjective way um the subjectiveness thing is um there are too many variables in, involved in that. It's like your personal taste, and how did you come to have that personal taste? You know that 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 um, um, appreciation of a certain kind of uh, work or a certain kind of drawing. How did you get that? How, what what made that? So so the 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 beyond that beyond that like. Yeah, you know that I like this thing. You know I like this thing because I like this thing. Beyond that, um, you have to be more um, conscious about what you're doing. It, it can't just be um, I like oranges kind of thing. It can't. It can't be as simple as that. Otherwise, otherwise it will just be dependent on your conditioning, and your conditioning might be limited, to say the least. You know, so you've never really experienced what. Um, great art is i've never even experienced what you know what an artist does or how they think um um and, and consequently your vocabulary your aesthetic vocabulary will be based on what you see on 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 the you know socials which is never a good thing um it's not even a good thing if it's based on what you see in galleries because that again is is someone else's decision um you know a curator of things decides whether or not this is going to be in that gallery and whether or not it's it's you know decided that it would be a master and all the rest of it or it is a master or anything. so all those things i don't know I, I only i don't think from my point of view is that first of all um i think you want to see as much as you can without a completely objective no no subjective reason involved in it or nobody else's um, um decision involved in it um, or it's going to be based on your own um, criteria, uh, and then, and after that, it's I suppose it's um, it's forgetting all that. Um, I, I know that people talk about skills that you learn skills and then forget them, then they manifest in your work and all that. Um, and maybe that's true. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't want to think about it like that because that then says that you must learn this stuff in order to then forget about it. So I just want to bypass all the learning of that stuff because it'll just get me on my nerves, learning stuff and and, and appreciating other people's opinions on stuff. You know that's gonna. It's just gonna wind me up. You know, so I don't want to be there. Um, and the way, the way back to this, to this talent thing, you know, it's uh, um, somebody else will determine whether or not somebody's talented and that's that's never a good thing it's never a good thing there this is why i've got problems with uh jury and exhibitions and and competitions and all that because it's somebody else has decided somebody else's and and you're giving that to somebody else to decide on whether or not you're good enough or it's you know it's good enough and you know i always think that people that have got awards are sort of given into that you know somebody else's decision They've, they've relinquished their their aesthetic decisions. You know, their their creative decisions have been relinquished to somebody else, who's probably never anywhere near as as, as qualified as that individual is. I've got a friend who does it all the time with exhibitions and uh, and um, competitions. He is an amazing artist, but he has to he has to do this stuff. I mean, his thing is that you know he wants to earn a living and and. Um, People uh, will, for you know, sort of the muggles will all always appreciate the a few letters after your name and all that kind of thing, you know. So that in a way is like find some better muggles to work for. I would say, you know, because because they're not they're not going to be people that really appreciate your work. Um, this is the thing about I see some great artists who do portraits, um, you know, they, they send me a photo and I'll draw it. You know, I see some great artists that do that, and the work they do when they're not doing that is brilliant when they were when they're doing these these commissions from old photographs from uncle bernard's wedding they're they're terrible you know they're just copies off um 
uh, because that's that's essentially the kind of muggles are working for and they're not people who appreciate art they appreciate how cheap can you make a copy of this photograph and that's and that's yeah people if you do that stop doing it and then and then we can just drive that out because it's just not a good thing for anybody um it's certainly not good for the art world because it's not art copying a photograph is not art um and the, i'm sat here copying a photograph <laughs> Uh, I'm trying not to copy, by the way. This is not just copying. This is this is Marks and Spencer's copying. Sorry, Marks and Spencer's. But uh, some, some, I expect some revenue from Marks and Spencer's for that advertising plug. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's a strange thing. It's, it's, the, it's the talent thing. I, um, um, I think if you think about it too much, then it becomes a problem. It's not something you need to think about. Um, what you need to think about is this convergence of all your faculties thing, because that's the that's the thing that makes this happen. It's not, you know, it's not really a, um, and it's every you know, everybody can do it. It's just that the the we kind of I don't know I don't I don't know about sort of people younger than me, but I I probably would have struggled to focus at this level um, um, when I was younger. Um, very kind of short att attention span um as a, as a teenager really short attention span um everything whatever i was flitting from one thing to always creating but it was always you know one thing from one thing to another so so that part of it i think is the is the difficult part for, for most people i think it's the same but it was, was for me the focus thing um but i could spend weeks on a drawing or or, or a painting a watercolor um so there was a, a you know a resilience and determination kind of thing but that was driven by some strange things people do it to me now um i'd like to see you painting charcoal uh, with um, charcoal powder and all that which is kind of like a um i never do anything to prove to somebody that i could do it uh, which is where I was all those years ago, proving that I could do it and proving that I could make money doing it, you know. So, I, but I never do that now. I've never been motivated in that way. But that was what I, that's what where I found the resilience and the determination, the you know the need to prove myself. That's never any good, is it? You know, that's not not something anyone should do. You just not have to prove yourself to anybody. But the um, um, the talent thing, I think I was. I think people used to say it to me uh, before that I was talented and uh, never really took much notice. I think I'd dismiss it sooner than than accept it. Um, never really knowing why. I, I know why now, but um, like I say, at the time, I, I was, you know, I'd spend hours on a drawing, uh, just the same, or as I say, weeks on a painting, just the same. Uh, but as I said, misguided. So, um, yeah, the... the they, if you if you think that you need to be talented to do to do this, then you don't. Um, it, it's it's something that um, is kind of ingrained within, and I think it's part of this. You know, the hatred of artistic people. You know, the creative world has always suffered from disrespect, and and I think the. The talent thing is put part of the same meme. It's kind of um, don't bother unless you're talented kind of thing. Um, and I'll decide whoever that person is will decide on whether or not you're talented. So um, I, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm against the word, the use of the word, because of its uh, detrimental impact on uh, um, people's opinions of what they can do as well as what others do because that's the, the worst thing about the talent thing is that people will decide on whether they are they are, are not talented and use that either as a excuse not to or a reason to fail um uh, and an excuse to fail i suppose um but that's that's a so it's a terrible word from that point of view it just means that so many people don't do it because of that factor they believe that it's a case that you must be talented everybody says that to me and I, there's a guy that i meet the local store and I, I say to him i'll teach you to paint uh, to draw portraits he's a he, he's a, um what's it calling it now and it works on the roads I forget what they're calling it now anyway uh, ground works i think that's what they call it in the uk and uh 
so far from this you can't you can't imagine but i've said to him i will teach you to draw portraits and he can't believe it and i've said i do it i do it for free uh, but he can't believe it so that's that's the kind of uh, conditioning that you're against you're up against but it's it's meant to be like that you know it's it's it, you can't have artists you know running wild <laughs> loose in the wild otherwise you know the society will fall apart they think um on the contrary i would imagine you know you've only got to look at uh, venice and uh, in the renaissance to see what, what happens when the artists are in charge admittedly you know it was dodgy money that was paying them but uh, but um, I, I, I don't know. I think that um, it's just such a shame. And, that, and, and, and when people use it, I, I use the word, I always think of that context as well, that other people are being inhibited from experiencing this. You know, this, this doesn't mean to say you're going to make it a living out of it. You know, if you want to do this as a, on the side, I, I struggle not to use the word hobby because I don't, Think it ever should be considered a hobby, but um, if you want to do uh, make portraits or draw or whatever um, in the in uh, you know as, as part of your lifestyle, then uh, do it. I, you know, it's not nothing to do with whether you've got talent or, or whatever. Nothing to do with those factors. So anyway, just on a, on a side note with this charcoal, uh, the other thing that that it does um, is this. Uh, the level of it's to do with the the density of the wood because this is proper wood and not like a like a vine um uh, and i'm sure vine will do the same thing i'm just i'm just speaking from my experience of of, of vine and uh, and in comparison to this um because it's a it's a, a solid hard wood that, that i'm making charcoal from it has a much finer um grain um and consequently it makes much better blends um and that's that's a big thing i mean i you can you can manipulate this so with, with such a, a fine um um uh, level of tone that it may it brings a certain level one of the features of charcoal is it has this facility uh, to have a range of uh, of of tones which in some way will mimic this is why you see people using is a you know mimicking photo photographs um it will mimic the half tone capabilities of photography so so because you get the level of tones admittedly you don't get you know in more in in and I was, i'm thinking about the next series ripley at the moment but but in back in the day uh, black and white had a level of and uh, um a span of tones that was far greater than what you do see with uh, digital digital tone, uh, tones um so you, so that which is the, which is the reason why i always talk about not using digital half tones because you don't get the you know it eliminates a lot of the good um uh, the range the full range of tones so i can't see as many tones in a digital half tone as i can in a color image which is why i always work in color um mainly because i i think that I let my eye decide on the tonal range, uh, however that manifests, you know, because it's my my vision, my uh, uh, ability to see that's being employed, not not necessarily some bit of software's ability algorithm to desaturate an image. So, but the as I said, the the charcoal itself, uh, because it has this um, uh, very fine ability to create very fine tones and then extreme densities it gives it gives the, the you know give, it's like a, having much more in your arsenal it's a bit like you know when people switch from one uh level of uh, graphite to another it's 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 all in that one piece of, of uh, wood that one thing and what the nice thing about that is that whilst ever you've you've got the thing in your hand and whilst ever it's not put down and picked up and then shifted to something else and then adapted so you shift from that to using a pencil or you shift from that to using you know a a um this is winter and newton stuff dreadful stuff but you shift to using a bit of willow you have to adjust the way your mark making change you know it changes because this is suddenly performs in a different way so one of the beauties of having a you know a charcoal that has a full capacity of 
of range uh, of tonal range um, is that you never put it down. You keep it, they keep the same thing. So you're always within that uh, existence of knowledge within that piece of charcoal. That piece of charcoal, you know, by the time you get to this level, you know how much pressure needs to be applied to it. You know um, whether or not you can blend it in certain places. You know, one of the one of the things about um, the uh, the Winter Newton um, charcoal is that when I try and blend with it, it it will it has a tendency to clump. Um, because it um, it sits on the paper, and um, I, I catch these um, um, kind of divots of, of charcoal, and then I'm and I'm smudging it into the paper, and then it damages the surface, and then it becomes difficult to to work with. Um, so so there's all all kinds of um, other considerations I think when you're working with charcoal, but th this this so that right there. And, and that consideration that I've just talked about is what people would consider talent. But it's not. It's me just working it out. That's what it is. It's not me. It's not a talent that decided that and observed that that was the case with, you know, Winslow Newton Charcoal and why this is different. It wasn't the talent that made that happen. It was my ability to figure it out. And I think that's probably another factor to it. It's this... Um, why is it doing that? What, what, what do I need to change? Do I need to change the way I hold the charcoal? You know, it's all those sort of other factors. This is not technique, by the way, because technique is is something that you've learned before you start. Technique is, 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 is exactly that. It's partly a skill. It's partly somebody else's knowledge. It's partly your knowledge. But it's 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 not this. I'm 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 talking about thinking on your feet, working you know working on the job kind of um, uh, application, but. Um, Again, being able to do that is not talent, but it's certainly a factor in the outcome. So, uh, as I said, I'm not really big on the word talent, and I think it, it's done so much damage to people, you know, in terms of them either not liking what they've done, not even starting in the first place, or whatever. Um, and the, and half the time, it's it's just a myth. It's just a myth, and sometimes it's a it's a uh, it's a lie. You know, there are people that sort of, you know, the kings do close thing, um, and and they'll they'll sort of exploit it and 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 claim it. You know, that's another sort of thing. I claim that I am talented, so I'm not. Uh, say it's it's a it's a word I'd rather leave out. A bit like the word inspiration. Not really a fan of that word either. Um, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's. Um, I think that the, the upshot is that I try not to make it too complicated, so I don't really think about this stuff that much. Um, I just get on and do it. And um, if if like in this case, I I feel the need to to, to sort of talk about it. It's because I want I want people not to be put off doing this simply because they think it's only the the domain of some special folk because it ain't, it ain't no special people this that do this it's everybody that does this it's just that people won't let themselves do it because they want to put these obstacles in front of themselves um anyway i've uh, i've rambled enough and i'm just about nearly finished doing this um um the only thing I would say is that um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just atone slightly. You can see how this is, you know how that is now starting to look like there's light on that face there. Then, so that means that the tonal balance of that area is right as it comes up here. It needs a little bit more tonal balance there. So, so I need to shape all these things and adjust all these tones in order to make it more you can see it's starting to do it now not quite dark enough but i need to another reason why you need your charcoal to be able to make marks without any effort is that i just want to let it glide across and put a thin layer of charcoal on it i may rub it off but i want i want to be able to um adjust the levels um infinitely <laughs> infinitely adjust the levels which is which is what i do um, and I must spend more time adjusting the levels in order to get the light, as you can see coming through now. Uh, it, it's it's a 
it's a kind of um, invisible. Again, this is not the talent thing. This is an invisible, to most people, an invisible amount of work. But with all these things, it is, and from somebody said it's what, you know, what work you try to, you're prepared to put into it. It is, yeah, it is that, that partly that, that uh, it's not about um, talent, it's about how much work. You, it is partly that. Um, but there is also the proper directed kind of work, you know, because it's a bit like practice. Practice is great, but practicing the wrong thing is, is terrible. It's a terrible thing. Um, and would you know? You know, would you know? Um, there gets there comes to a point where if the outcome is determined, you know, the determiner of your success, uh, and some and the outcome is measured on someone else's outcome, then the practice will be in line with that outcome. But the problem with that is that that outcome, and therefore that practice, is not yours; it's somebody else's, and that and that's the problem. So I'm uh, I'm as, as concerned about the word practice as I am about the word talent. Um, I just think you have to be very careful how you practice. Um, just as you have to be very careful, you sell your work too. And <laughs> all, there's so many things. But all, as I said, all this stuff is just common sense. It's not It's not for people who've got special abilities. It's common sense stuff. Um, and uh, uh, I think the more, the more we recognise that, the more artists there are going to be basically because it's um um it's such a, a freeing thing anyway as i said this is for now this is me just tinkering with all the tones and getting all the balance right you know knocking the ear back slightly and you know all those sort of things um that need to be done uh, just to get the tone and balance just to get it to to feel like the form and the shape and the, the lights on it and fixes being I'm going to leave it a little bit longer than the beard. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer because it looks good. <laughs> so, and it, and it, I like that that feeling that that it gives. Hair wants a little bit more, a bit more finessing, but um, which is what happened with yesterday's. If you saw yesterday's, but yeah, that's it. So as far as talent is concerned, I don't believe there is such a thing. And I'll leave it at that.